Now, mag again on. Now, today we go take a breakdown to the so-called Earth. The spinning ball that they give you right here. The fiction, science fiction they give the masses. We go take a look at it because the so-called scientists give you a whole bunch of theories about this Earth right here. The spinning ball and it's not real. It's 100% fake what they got for the people. And we go break it down all the way, including the so-called telescope that they use to see other planets. We go get into all of that and see what they're talking about. Let's go. June 13th, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 2014. Mm -hmm. Scientists researching the Earth's mantle mm -hmm. announce that they have found what they believe to be a vast body of water. Mm -hmm. A vast body of water. But if you know this, people, 2014... I told you people, this is how they brainwashing, plain sight, keep so-called discovering shit right in your face. Right in modern times, they so-called discovering shit. All scientists, so-called astronomers, and all of them is fake. You understand? All archaeologists, government workers, and the masses to keep the dumb down going. That's what you need to know. Now finish listening to what they so-called discover. Three times the volume of all of our oceans combined. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they find a body of water, three times your water that on earth already. And you already know the earth is almost all water. So they find water inside the earth. It's bullshit, 100% in. And that's why you can't believe this ball earth theory that they sell the masses. We believe to be a vast body of water, three times the volume of all of our oceans combined, mm -hmm. contained within a mineral layer 400 miles inside the earth. Mm -hmm. A mineral layer. A mineral layer 4,000 miles below the earth, inside the earth. Wow, yes, there you go, your idle earth theory right here. It's not real. Bullshit they're giving the masses. And I already told you, the earth that you're living on is flat, flat as a damn penny. Don't doubt me, I tell you. It's just flat. And you can tell by everything around you, with the trees going straight up, growing straight up. Are you kidding me? You use a level? And a plum to build a house. Of course, this tell you that the earth is already flat all the way. The discovery mm -hmm. shakes the foundation of what scientists and scholars thought they knew mm -hmm. about the ground under our feet. You see? Because <laughs> they already tricked the masses with whatever they tell you before. And now they're going to come back and tell you, oh, it's shocking in discovery. And it's shock what whatever we got. But we thought we know <laughs> it's bullshit, people. It's just another theory they're putting in the masses head and it's still tied to the ball earth. That's how you know it's bullshit. We have just scratched the surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, we drilled down like mm -hmm. eight miles and mm -hmm. we had to stop because it got too hot. You hear that? And of course, I did the video on it and show you. As a matter of fact, I did a whole live show on it and show you with this one right here. The so-called was digging in Russia, digging and they only got to like eight miles. They say it's got too hot, so they have to stop. No, it's bullshit. They tell you that it's, they get to a surface that wasn't digging anymore. That's why they stop. That's what they told you. And now they're going to say it got too hot. Get out of here. It's bullshit. You know how much type of cooling equipment they have? Shit that can cool down that so-called drilling bit. They're lying to the masses. This is fake right here. And all of a sudden you find a hollow earth. With all water inside, dumb on. Out of uh, 4,000 miles, basically, mm -hmm. to the core 4, of the Earth. 4,000 miles, people. I was saying 400, 4,000. This is a damn joke right here. They're tricking the masses 100% in. Down eight, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. We have more than 70 active space programs right mm -hmm. now. You see it? Watch this, people. The shit that the man working on, so-called, going over 2,000 miles per hour. How the fuck he just floating? You understand what I'm saying right here, people? He's not in the vehicle no more. Why would he just floating right alongside it, right there? Why? How did it happen? This vehicle right here moving over 2,000 miles per hour, going around the ball earth. How the fuck a man in this white suit right here with the backpack on, hanging right here? You can't believe this shit, people. It's CGI. The same fucking shit you see in the movie. Wake your ass up and watch this behind him. <laughs> wow, the earth? Dumb on. We can tell you more about the surface of the moon mm -hmm. than we can the surface underneath our own oceans. You hear that? Why you think that, people? They can tell you about the moon and they know nothing about the earth? You believe that? 
wow the moon is just a light it's a trickery and of course their so-called 50th anniversary they're killing the masses with this fake moon landing bullshit and the more they show it the more the dumb folks jumping on it you need to wake up it's nothing but a hoax space don't exist all of this they show you is a fantasy it's just science fiction wow we've not actually drilled down far enough to confirm these findings mm -hmm. Could it be See? that we may be wrong mm -hmm. about the composition of our own Earth? You see what they show you people, the so-called Earth core right there. This is what they dumb down the masses with. You gotta be, you gotta be dumb if you believe this right here, people. It's fucking fakery. We're living on a ball inside. It's full with hot, melted rocks. <laughs> wow. Coals and oil and everything under there also. Yes, your fossil fluid and everything, your gold, your diamond. Get out of here. It's bullshit. 100%. Some in. ancient astronaut theorists mm -hmm. say yes. Go your one eye symbol again and ancient astronaut theories. That's what they say you on the science channel, people, and the history channel. Fucking fakery. And, and suggest masses. that according to our earliest mythologies, mm -hmm. an other Earth mm -hmm. might not be found in the heavens, mm -hmm. but deep within our own planet. Mm -hmm. One of the yes. most. So the, so the so called heavens is not above, it's underneath, deep in the planet. It's bullshit. Consistent themes that we find in ancient cultures when we travel around the world is mm -hmm. the idea that there is another world, mm -hmm. another that Earth inside of the planet. Within that's Buddhism, that's another world inside the planet. <laughs> wow. So inside this Earth, we have another Earth. Get the fuck out of here. It's bullshit. As you can see, the Buddha shit right here. This fucker right here with wings on. You better wake your ass up. Nothing but fallen angels. They give the masses to the stories of a place called Agartha mm -hmm. or Agarti, which is an mm -hmm. inner world. Mm -hmm. And it's inhabited too mm -hmm. by people. And that it's they. Nothing but bullshit. 100% in. Are an advanced race. And mm -hmm. even that they have uh, trains and vehicles that are moving mm -hmm. th through this inner earth. Mm -hmm. This fucker right here can't tell you the fucking lie with a straight face. Yes, they have trains and vehicles moving around inside the other earth is crap and i told you there's a lot of dummies on earth that will take that shit and run it's bullshit bam on is it possible that in other earth you think that you're living on this right here people just dumb and i'm gonna i'm gonna get deeper with this shit because too much dummy on the earth i'm gonna ask you a question what is around the earth right here what is around it that you see with the light the stars looking thing what's around the earth what is it what atmosphere surround the earth? Mm -hmm. What is this? Space. You got it? This ball supposed to be spinning in space. You got it? So when you're outside, you're supposed to be in space. You're not getting it, people. If this ball right here that we live on, we're not living in the ball. They show you land right there. We're not living in the ball. Yeah, they tell you that another set of people, another set of race another set of people living inside the earth okay it's not us we live in on the earth so called so when you're outside where you at you're supposed to be in space people wow why not what all they go past this all they go past this on the smart people i said if the ball is spinning inside of the space then when you're outside you're in space am i lying why when the fucking plane take off it don't float. Why it don't float off in space? Why why it don't float off in deep space? This is deep space surrounding the fucking earth. That's why it be able to spin. Because nothing can spin in mid-air on earth. <laughs> on the earth itself. So so all the earth itself spinning because something holding it up in space. Everything can float in space. So the ball floating, but we can't float. Huh? Why we can't float on the fucking ball that's floating in space? They, 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 they gotta be able to answer that before they can pass this right here. Why not emulate this spinning ball on earth? They tell you it's gravity all the water on. So that's why you have water standing up on the side, people. That's all you get water standing up on the side. That's why you have water standing up on the bottom. And don't fall. So what all in it on again? It's gravity. So where is the gravity on earth? Why don't somebody emulate this ball right here? Just let a ball spin around with nothing all it up. 
Yes, put everything on it and it's supposed to stay there. Well, why they can't do it? It's fucking fakery. We don't have no space and we don't live on this damn ball. Bam can on. be located within the confines of our own planet. Mm -hmm. Historically, underground realms were not mm -hmm. relegated to mere mythology. Mm -hmm. Well-respected scientists mm -hmm. and mathematicians. Here we go, people. Scientists and mathematicians. Mathematician. <laughs> wow, it's a dumb check right here and the bit of truth. There you go right here, the big old hole they show you in the spinning ball. Here we go, because it's spinning around and a hole in there, but nothing fall out. But let it run. Have long speculated about a theory that became known as Hollow Earth. Mm -hmm. The scientist Hollow Earth. Somebody asked me about it the other day. Oh, Meg, what do you think about the Hollow Earth? I say, I think you're dumb for even asking me about it because it is trash. Edmund Haley is most mm. famous for Haley's I'm Comet. Faker. He was also very interested in the Earth. And one mm. of the challenges mm. is... This one in the purple shirt doing the Illuminati pyramid on the hand sign. Don't believe them, they're fakers. Trying to figure out what was the real structure of the inside of the Earth. Mm -hmm. He had a fascinating mm. theory of not just a hollow Earth, but an Earth with multiple layers. Mm -hmm. 75... Earth with multiple layers. Let's go back. So a multiple layer, but this is a flat plane. This is not a ball. Okay. Okay, so what? You cut off the ball and then showing us what's inside. Okay, all right. Multiple layers. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. 75 years mm -hmm. later. Another eight. fucking drawing they got for the masses again. And they're the one who, 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 who implement, implement this dumb shit in your brain. Are you kidding me? In century mathematician, Leonhard Euler put forth his own hollow earth theory mm -hmm. with no concentric shells and mm -hmm. a sun at the center spanning mm -hmm. 600 miles. Yeah, that 600 miles is according. And as you could see him right there on screen, doing the one eye symbol, it's out. It's a devil puppet. That's what you need to know. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. With no concentric shells mm -hmm. and a sun at the center mm -hmm. spanning 600 miles. Mm -hmm. Euler was so a, a sun at the center. So it's another sun inside the earth again. Wow. Dumb on people. Yes, a sun inside the earth. The mm -hmm. mathematician, he developed this idea mm -hmm. that the planet uh, Earth is not only hollow, mm -hmm. but the poles are actually thinned. Mm -hmm. And there are actually entrances into the inner core mm -hmm. at the north and south poles of the earth. That? At the north and south pole, and you know already, people, this is a fake with the north pole and the south pole. Fake with the masses. You got it? The center of the earth that they call the north pole. Is basically right there. You can see it on the flat earth, but you can't find a south pole. You understand? The south is any corner of the earth. And any way you walk, in any direction, if it was possible, you would have hit the so-called south pole, which is the end of the earth, the edge of the earth. You understand me? You better wake your ass up. This bullshit that they give the masses about a pole go all the way to from the north to the south, this garbage. He imagined that there were advanced civilizations living inside the planet. Mm -hmm. Always advanced. I... Everybody, everything that they give you people, tell you that aliens around, they all advanced more than human. Why they selling you that dumb shit? Yes, of an occupied hollow earth mm -hmm. would be revisited nearly two centuries later mm -hmm. in 1947, really when famous polar explorer, Admiral Richard Byrd. Mm -hmm. See, Admiral Richard Byrd, a lot of people, that believe in truth, believe in this guy, but you're dumb. You can't be that dumb to believe in this one. It's a devil puppet. Why the fuck you think you know his name? It's a devil puppet working for them. And of course, anything you hear come from his mouth was scripted by the elite. 100% in it's a Freemason puppet. Reconnaissance missions over the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Bird allegedly reported in his private journal mm -hmm. about a mysterious land beyond the North Pole. Mm -hmm. which and that's what they used to dumb down the masses. It's a dumb trick. You better wake your ass up. You think this Admiral Berg is real? Yes, he went to the North Pole. It's bullshit. 100% and he's no different from those puppets that they bring to run PSYOPs and the masses. This call one is the awesome. center of the great unknown. Mm -hmm. Admiral Richard Byrd was able to fly to the North Pole and back and recorded flying over lush green areas mm -hmm. where none should have been. Mm -hmm. And then... It's bullshit. 100% in lush green areas that no green should be in. You better wake your ass up. It's bullshit. All of this ice, ice shit that they're showing the masses is mostly fakery. That's what you need to know. Three years later, he flew over the South Pole. Mm -hmm. It's rumored later. that when Admiral Byrd's task force actually got to Antarctica, that mm -hmm. one of the first things they discovered was an entrance into mm -hmm. a hollow... Of course, there's an entrance 
to another Allah Earth. Here you go again. It's bullshit, people. Wake your ass up. It's just a dumb teaching they give you. And of course, I told you, all this programming tied to Time Warner and the Walt Disney. Okay? Oh, Earth civilization that was populated by very, very advanced beings. Mm -hmm. Admiral Bird. Very, very advanced beings. So I told you, there's no other beings that are less than the human. They are all more than the human beings. <laughs> I told you, people, this is just to put down the real beings right here on Earth. And of course, discredit the creator that created us. That's how they do it. Why you think science exists? That's what they're here for. 100%. Made a lot of unusual statements, mm -hmm. including talking about what he called a new kind of craft mm -hmm. that could fly from pole to pole. Mm -hmm. And when Berg yes, got back... Yes. Admiral Berg tell you about spacecraft was under the earth, inside the earth. Yes, and spacecraft flying around from pole to pole. Don't trust nobody that wear this eagle right here. He also got on the Freemason medal right there. You're dumb as a box of rocks. Adam, Admiral Berg trick a lot of dumb folks. You understand? Even people that believe in the flat earth, believe in this character right here. Yes, say he come back and say, fine land. You're dumb as a box of rocks. Damn. The United States, he was brought back to Washington mm -hmm. where he was it's questioned. Him, people. It's one of them. I don't get it. Wow, this is how you have to wake up, people. You can't believe the satanic puppets. Why would you believe the people that they bring? I don't get it. It's them bring him. Wow, he got the seals on and everything. Fucking Freemason. Medal on the neck and you trust him? Get out of here with this Admiral Berg. Are you kidding me? He's a sodomite. Dumb on. Very heavily about his statements. And allegedly he was told to stop mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. about this. Wow, they tell him to stop talking about it. They're the one who give him that fucking shit to talk about in the first place. No doubt about it. It's just garbage. Possible that entrances to another world mm -hmm. can be found at the Earth's poles. Mm -hmm. yes. And if so, mm -hmm. did Admiral Byrd mm -hmm. actually pass through one of them? Mm -hmm. It's bullshit, people. Why not? Why these people? They're so in... Let me tell you about the Earth that you so-called live on with these people that so-called running it. You see, if they was righteous, all they would have do is show the masses a lot of these shit that they're talking about. They're not showing you nothing. It's just TV, science fiction. They give the masses. Why nobody can't go to the North Pole? Oh, it's too cold. You can't fly over it. The plane engine will freeze up. It's bullcrap. 100% trash. But this guy right here, Admiral Burke, can fly over there in a little private plane. Dumb on, people. It's bullshit. One of them. According to some ancient astronauts. This that you're looking at is CGI. You understand? You ever heard of CGI? Look at this crack right here. It's just, it's just too neat. You understand? Too neatly cut. It's just TV for the dumb people. Even Sir? the mountains that they show you back there is fakery. It's called CGI. Can I say it again? Wake up, people. It's TV for the dumb Gateways dinosaurs. do exist. Mm -hmm. If we were to discover the other earth, the mm -hmm. place we have sought, the missing world, wow. it would be profoundly humbling. Wow. So this would... Wow. A place we have sought, mm -hmm. the missing world. It right would be people. profound. What is this? What is this? Why show this? Why show a computer graphics and talking about real shit? I don't get it. Why show science fiction if you want us to believe it? Be Why? So this would be wow. quite a paradigm yeah. shift. This History would change also. in a very major mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ancient aliens again. And the masses. Let's bam on. There's this star nearly 1,500 mm -hmm. light years away from Earth. 1,500 light years away from Earth. And I told you about light and years. Light years is a bullshit. Only for the dumb people who got no brain. You understand? You better wake up. Light years is bullshit. They sell the masses just to fucking confuse you. Because your fucking brain can't grasp it. They tell you about light years is bullshit. Light don't have no speed. It's just trash they're teaching the dumb folks 100% in. We have this telescope that's been mm -hmm. staring right at it for a number of years. Mm -hmm. But scientists say something strange mm -hmm. keeps getting in between the telescope mm -hmm. and the star. Mm -hmm. You hear that? They've been staring at the star with, with the telescope. Let it sit on the star and something keep blocking it. Something blocking the star. <laughs> the telescope from seeing the stars at some point. You believe it? Don't believe in the fucking telescope. It's them make it. 
the same fucking people that fooling you about space and planets. Those are the people who give you the fucking telescope. Can't figure out what it is. Let's bring in CBS News mm. science contributor, mm. Michio. Bam. And of course, they show you this one right here with the purple bricks behind him. It's by design. This sodomite right here on screen, Michio Kachu. <laughs> wow. These are one of them they used to fool the masses. This one is Asian. You understand? They have one Asian, one white. The white one they call the science guy. And they have Neil deGrasse Tyson, the black one. Three of them eat out the devil's pot. They use them to fool the dumb folks. You understand? These are the people. They gatekeep the fucking earth. You understand? All fucking fakers they call scientists and astronomy. 100%. Okay, what is happening? Why is this star causing scientists to wonder in fascination what might be out there? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. And this could mm -hmm. be the biggest story of the past 500 years. Mm -hmm. Big yes, the biggest story for the last 500 years. Listen to the sodomite. ...than the discovery of America mm -hmm. by Columbus. Mm -hmm. Or... Yes, a year. He say some dumb shit out his mouth. Columbus <laughs> discover America. Which is all garbage. 100% trash. And I told you already. The Christopher Columbus was just a system. A fucking system that they sell the masses worldwide. It's not a real person. You understand? And if you can find a real picture of the so-called Christopher Columbus, let me know. All fucking drawing. Bam on. It could be the biggest wild goose chase mm -hmm. since the Loch Ness wild Monster. Okay. Chase, yeah. Okay. Well, now you've given us a mm -hmm. huge dichotomy of possibilities. Let's mm -hmm. explain it. This is a star called Kick. I'm, I like to call it Kick, but it's K I C A four. Star called Kick. <laughs> wow. They play too much, people. And I told you, there's no way for the human being to process these garbage that they give you. And first of all, you can't prove it. You can never prove it. Because everything is out of our reach. So they bring you all these folk, all fake gadgets that are telling them what's going on. You get it? It's bullshit. 62852, that's its official name. Mm -hmm. The Kepler Space Telescope is out there. Can you explain why scientists and why space lovers are fascinated mm -hmm. by what's space happening lovers. with this? This star is mm -hmm. breaking all the rules. We mm -hmm. have to rewrite astronomy Look text. At it, people. What is this right here we're looking at? Where is the star? Wow, cartoon for the dumb people. Grown folks, they're showing this shit, and they believe it. But basically, if a planet eclipses the mother star, it goes mm -hmm. in front of the mother star, mm -hmm. starlight drops by maybe 1% at mm -hmm. maximum. Oh, However, starlight... If you notice what they show you, and I told you every time, when you ever look up in the sky and see this, when? When you do take a photo of it and let me get it. When you ever look in the sky and see none of this shit that they show you on TV... Is science fiction. It has been dropping at 22%. Mm -hmm. There is a colossal, mm -hmm. humongous mm -hmm. object of some sort mm -hmm. blocking the starlight from wow. this star. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine mm -hmm. if you're in a movie theater and you see the spotlight mm -hmm. coming from behind you. Mm -hmm. And on the stage, what you're seeing is a huge mm -hmm. nebulous rectangle of shadow. And you don't know what's causing the rectangle of shadow on the stage, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, could it be... An alien superstructure. Wow. An alien superstructure. You hear that, people? This is the brainwash they use to make you believe in the ball earth in the first place. And I told you, they're cooking up this fucking alien invasion. Our signs and wonders in the sky that they got for the masses. And after you listen to all of these trash that they teach you, of course, the first thing going to pop in your head Yes, it's a alien. That's what we're speculating. We've ruled out all the usual mm -hmm. suspects. Mm -hmm. Rogue planets, comets, mm -hmm. asteroids. Mm -hmm. What's left but mm -hmm. Star Trek? Mm -hmm. We're talking about... Star Trek. And I told you, people, if you listen to these dummies, I tell you, in a world of hurt, they're way dumber than you. They talk some dumb shit out the mouth. And bam, they got you. It's called a type mm -hmm. 2 civilization that could build a gigantic sphere, perhaps bigger mm -hmm. than Jupiter, mm -hmm. to absorb starlight. Wow. And mm -hmm. this, of course, is right out of science fiction, mm -hmm. but here we right are. Right out of science fiction because they can't hide it, people. It's science fiction, 100% from the so-called satellite that they tell you spinning around the Earth. It's all science fiction. Nothing is real that they give you about space. It do exist. You can never get out the earth. We all trapped in here, including the fucking elites. They can't get out of the earth. And that's what you need to know. Operation Fishbowl. <laughs> when they so-called firing all that rocket in the sky, 
1959 or 1957. They did that because they know, they find out that they're trapped inside this earth. All of mankind is trapped. There's no way out to the top. No, you can't go to it. Made out of diamond, the hardest surface known to man. You think they can go underneath the ground? No, they can't. They can't get out of this earth. We're trapped in here. No doubt about Staring it. Staring at it, and mm -hmm. we have no logical explanation other mm -hmm. than to assume that perhaps, just perhaps, it's made by a civilization mm -hmm. a few thousand years more advanced mm -hmm. than ours. Yeah, like that <laughs> civilization that thousand years more advanced than ours. I told you, any fucking thing they say they found, are they so-called selling you aliens, they go tell you they're more advanced than human being discrediting God work. The Federation of Planets. Mm -hmm. Wait, does that put us back in like Cro-Magnon status? Mm -hmm. Well, compared mm -hmm. to them, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are what is called a type zero civilization. We mm -hmm. get our energy from oil and coal. Mm -hmm. Type yes, one- We get our energy from oil and coal. Nothing but fake with they sell the masses on earth. It'd be like Buck mm -hmm. Rogers, planetary civilization. This mm -hmm. civilization is stellar. Mm -hmm. They can manipulate the energy of a star mm -hmm. if it pans out. Wow. Okay, so wow. I, I'm left baffled mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. also spotted this star in 2009. Mm -hmm. This is October 2015. Wow. Yes. Why are we just talking about it now? Mm -hmm. Because as Carl Sagan mm -hmm. said, remarkable claims require remarkable proof. Mm -hmm. If you're going to say that this mm -hmm. discovery... Ran what the fuck y'all ever prove? Never prove none of the theories that you give us about space or planets. None at all. You never prove the theory about the moon. Nothing. Nothing at all. How the fuck you gonna prove this? Wow. It's with the discovery of America by Columbus. Mm -hmm. If it's on uh, that yeah, kind of scale, then. you better mm -hmm. be sure that it's not some kind of mm -hmm. hoax or some mm -hmm. kind of dust oh, on the telescope. Some kind of hoax or dust on the telescope. Dust on the telescope. So if a dust on the telescope can make you see a planet, Wow, what kind of fucking object is that? A dust on the telescope can let you see a planet? I told you already, people, any fucking thing you see in that telescope was meant for you to see. They make it like that. That's what you need to know. Go. And if no this planet. potential hypothetical civilization is a thousand years more advanced than we are, mm -hmm. why haven't they made contact with us? Mm -hmm. Are we as human mm -hmm. beings just not ready for that? Mm -hmm. Well, if you go down a country road and see an anthill, do, mm -hmm. you, talk, go, do you go down to the ants and say, <laughs> I bring you trinkets, mm -hmm. I bring wow. you beads, I give you nuclear energy, wow. take me to your ant queen, wow. or you have this politically incorrect urge to step on a few of them? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, right, that's wow. a very good... All bullshit, yes, a good analogy. It's garbage for the dumb people. 100% and listen to them what they're gonna mention right here. Point. It's equally as good as my theater metaphor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I like both. So mm -hmm. why should they land on the White House lawn? We have mm -hmm. nothing to offer them. If they can build mm -hmm. an object bigger than Jupiter, mm -hmm. I mean, we have yes, nothing. They can build an object build bigger than Jupiter. Nothing but bullshit they sell you people. Wow, from these so-called science guys. <laughs> wow, all trickers gatekeepers for the math. Are them. we going to get answers in our lifetime about this? Well, next we're going to focus our radio telescope to see mm -hmm. whether we can eavesdrop on their I Love Lucy. Mm -hmm. Maybe they this too have... Us people, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is laughable. Uh, you know, Leave it to wow. Beaver and TV shows like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to focus our radio efforts now on this star to mm -hmm. see whether there's any regular radio emissions from mm -hmm. that planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so exciting. Michio, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure. It's so exciting. Hold TV on, shows hold like on, that. Hold on. So we're going to focus our radio efforts now on this star mm -hmm. to see whether there's any regular radio emissions from that planet. Oh, it's so exciting. Michio, thank mm -hmm. you. I, want, I don't know why I'm... See whether we can thing. eavesdrop on their Isle of Lucy. Maybe Isle they of Lucy. There you go, people. Right there. He mentioned it. Wow, let's go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. See whether we can eavesdrop on their Isle of Lucy. Maybe they Wow, the Isle of Lucy. And just in case you don't know what that is, is a so-called telescope owned by the Pope and the Vaticans. You understand? They call it the Eye of Lucy. Wow, a reference to Lucifer, the one I God, 100% in people. And I told you, don't trust no telescope. As a matter of fact, let's go deeper into the so-called telescope. Let's go. Just in case you're dumb, people, there go your telescope right there. What it look like to you is fucking CGI fakery. As you could see right there, people, one and a half billion right there for your number three. You better wake your ass up. It's not real. Take a look at this CG up, CGI object up close. You see the walls? You see the ground? 
it's not real it's fake shit 100 percent in and then they zoom in and give you this you believe that this can see some some shit in the sky bam what is this right here your hover what can it capture as you could see 15 times right there for your number six this is a cgi right here they give the dumb masses wake your ass up this telescope is fake they're just faking the dumb masses look at this when it moving away what it is it's cgi all fake where they give the masses i don't give a fuck if you call some of them i a lucifer they can't fool everybody this is fakery they give the masses they go your telescope mm -hmm. can see a new fucking planet every time it's bullshit 100 percent in and i told you it should be some kind of crime to trick the dumb people of course praying on the damn weak this is what you get to see right here when you look through your telescope this is what you go see dumb on are you kidding me mm -hmm. what is all these rock these fucking steel bars steel bars steel bars around it that's why you can see that far you better wake your ass up people this is just a gadget they're gonna make it real weird looking not something that you're used to seeing and of, of course it go get you it's not real it's fake shit there you go so-called telescope are you kidding me how the fuck this get to see planets in deep space eh? Fifteen thousand light years away this can see it you better wake your ass up people the time is now they're tricking us for a long 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 time it's time for you to wake up, people. Get the fuck up. I'm gone.